Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna break down how to design an optimized homepage for your website. A lot of the time, your homepage will be the first impression of your website. You're gonna want it to have a user-friendly layout for your customers. This way they can easily see what type of products you sell and get a good impression and introduction to your brand. I'm gonna show you how to create a good layout for your homepage and how to add the most necessary sections that you'll need for your shop based on what type of products you sell. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. One of the main purposes of your website's homepage is to display your products and help customers filter and browse through your collections. To help you plan out the layout of your homepage to best display your products and collections, the first thing you'll want to do is evaluate how many products you're selling or how many products you plan to sell. If you plan to sell dozens of different types of products, you want to display a variety of different products that you sell on your homepage. Here's an example of a website I designed. One of the first impressions you'll get from this homepage is that you can quickly assess the wide variety of products that this Shopify store sells. And here is another way I designed this homepage. As you can see, the focus point is gonna be on one specific new arrival product. And a homepage that looks like this may give new customers the idea that you may not have that wide of a variety of products or that you may not sell what they're looking for. In an organized way, you want to display the different niches and categories of products that you sell. You can do that by featuring multiple pictures on your main web banner or slideshow. And feel free to insert multiple image banner sections throughout your homepage. And that's where you can display organized collages of your products. So here I've inputted a slideshow. And throughout your slideshow, you can just include a variety of pictures of the different niches of products that you sell. For the second slideshow page, I've chosen to feature and highlight some example bestsellers. Then right below the slideshow, I'm going to insert a collection list. And this is where you can choose to feature each of your product collections. You can also increase the columns to display more collections. You want to enable the view all button, for in case your store has more than just these four displayed collections. The quality and display of your pictures can make a big impression to potential customers. And not only will having good photos make your homepage look good, but it can also enhance the display of your product pages. Here's an example of a featured collection that I added to the homepage of the website. So here's it with me using regular product photos. And here's an example of how it looks once I remove the backgrounds of those images. It just has a lot cleaner and a lot more professional of a display for the homepage. I'd like to thank iPhoto for sponsoring this portion of the video. Having over 800,000 Shopify sellers across more than 20 different countries, iPhoto has helped many different users looking to quickly remove the backgrounds of their photos. Whether you're an established Shopify seller or just looking for an efficient background removal editor to remove the backgrounds of your pictures, iPhoto has a very smooth and user-friendly navigation. It's super simple to connect this app to your Shopify store. Here on the Shopify app store, you're gonna install the iPhoto batch background removal app into your Shopify store. And then you'll have the option to upload pictures straight from your computer, or you can select existing photos that you've already uploaded to Shopify. Here it has pulled up a photo gallery from a product I uploaded. Then you're gonna click batch remove background to remove the background of all of those images without a hassle. Here's an example of a product I just listed on Shopify. And as you can see, the picture looks so much more professional now that I've removed the image's background using iPhoto. iPhoto is gonna be an excellent tool to help advance and touch up your photos. You can set up your iPhoto account with my link in the description box. And now for if you sell specifically one type of product or one niche of product, you want to be sure to maximize your product photos. So for an example of a t-shirt product, if you have a variety of different pictures of that t-shirt at different angles and with different backgrounds, you can utilize and display all those images on your homepage. And you can also display multiple featured collections on your homepage. Then if in general, if you don't have that many product photos to work with, you can highlight other parts of your store. For an example, I added this multi-column section and this highlights the quality that the store offers and a couple other features that this store offers. You can explain your brand's goals and purpose and you can also include a few call to actions to help your customers engage more with your brand. So you can include an email signup to prompt customers to become an email list member. And you can also include promotional announcement to announce discounts that you'll be running. This can give customers something to look forward to from your brand. Here's an example of another clothing website I designed. And here at the top of your website, you can announce any sales you're currently running or sales you'll be running in the future. Another section you can add to your homepage would be to highlight your about us or your brand introduction section. So here for this section, I've just imported an image with text and you can upload your picture to represent this section. And you can insert your about us text or your brand introduction text. And right below that, I inserted a multi-column section. And this is where you can highlight a few more areas of your brand. So you can talk about your brand's goal and even talk more about products you'll be launching in the future. If you're interested in this website you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I've put together this downloadable website theme template for clothing and apparel businesses. And this is a customizable Shopify template. So you'll have the option to add your product, your pictures, and to change elements like the text and add or remove sections. I have many types of Shopify theme templates that have a wide variety of Shopify themes designed for different types of businesses, including clothing, beauty, and dropshipping stores. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify themes, how it works is after your order, you're gonna receive it in a zip file format. And here in your Shopify account, you'll have the option to install that straight into your store. Then you can publish it and make 
make changes and add your products. This Shopify theme is a template bundle, so it also includes some logo templates, web banner templates, and more. I will link my Shopify templates in the description box below. You can also make the most of your homepage by including a few image banners throughout your homepage. You can do this to feature very specific product collections and new launches. For an example, here's the banner section I added that features the brand's spandex and nylon collection of t-shirts and hoodies. A really quick way you can do this is to insert an image banner. And here you can title this, either the title of your collection or a call to action. Then you can upload your background images. You want to add pictures that match that collection you're featuring. And this can help you to promote that specific collection. In total, you'll definitely want to maximize the use of your pictures if you are selling one type of product. So here I'm showing that product variety through the collection list. And you can mix in these sections with other essential sections that you're going to need for your homepage, such as a customer reviews section and other sections like an email list and a featured blog section. Next, you'll want to carefully lay out your website to not only display your products, but to include all the essential sections to help highlight your brand and to help customers engage a little bit more with your brand. One of the first sections I'd recommend adding would be your email sign up for if you are going to start sending out email newsletters. The three best places I'd recommend featuring your email sign up would number one be closer to the top of your website. So for example, you can put this right underneath your main image banner or slideshow and you can choose to keep this cohesive to the rest of your website or you can choose to set its color scheme apart a little bit. This way when customers are on your homepage, one of the first things they'll see is going to be where they can go and join your email list. Now, if you do have more important sections that you'd like to feature at the very top of your website, you can choose to place your email sign up closer to midway through your website. This can help to ease customers more into your website and show them a few more of your products. And the extra time that they've spent browsing and engaging with your website can help them feel a little bit more comfortable with committing to joining your email list. Then last, I would definitely recommend adding your email list to the footer menu of your website. Usually your footer menu is going to show on most pages of your website. So this will help to give your customers a little reminder that they can simply join your email list right here. You're simply going to click on the footer menu and then you're going to click show email sign up. And here under heading is where you can retitle the text that's going to be right above the email sign up and you have a couple other text editing options. Along with the email sign up, I've added an about us section here to the home page. If your business has reviews, you can import a featured reviews section. So here I've just imported a multi-column. And you'll have the option to adjust how many reviews you would like to display. You can type in the reviews you'll be featuring here in the columns. And typically this is how the default multi-column section appears on mobile. Right here under mobile layout, I'd recommend applying the swipe on mobile. This way customers will easily be able to just swipe through those featured reviews. Another section you can include is if your brand has a blog. You can choose to display your blog here on the homepage. Most people would just add a link to the main menu or the footer menu of their website. But you can also choose to display your blog and even feature just a few blog posts here on the homepage. And you want to include button links that lead straight to those blog posts or straight to your blog page. If you have multiple social media accounts for your brand, you can choose to feature those on the announcement bar and on the footer menu of your website. So here you're going to click on the announcement bar and I'm going to select show icons on desktop. When you click theme settings, then social media, this is where you can insert the links to your brand's social media accounts and those clickable icons will display here on the announcement bar. Then I'm going to scroll down here to the footer menu of the website. And this is where you'll also have the option to show and display the social media icons. For a few other sections that may be essential to your business that you can add to the homepage, you can choose to include a contact form. This is definitely a section you'll want to add if you take on custom orders. This way, once customers get to the bottom, your contact form will be right here for them to fill out if they have a question. And last, a main focus point of your homepage would be to have a good navigation for your customers. You don't want it to be too difficult for them to find links to pages that they're looking for. Two of the best things that you can do for your homepage would be to fully customize your navigation bar and also to add an FAQs section if you do have a lot of frequently asked questions. Here's an example of how the default main menu usually appears. So here you have the catalog page, which is going to take visitors to the shop all section of your website. Then you have the contact page, which is where customers can contact you. To customize your main menu and your footer menu, you're going to click online store, then navigation. You can choose to open and edit the main menu, or you can add a new menu. I'm going to click add menu item. And first off, I'll be adding a link to the homepage of the website. After that, you can also choose to add a link to your search bar. Then a really important link you'll want to add is going to be a link to your all collections page. That's going to be the page where customers can browse your collections. Then I'm going to add a link to the blog. And then I'm also going to add a link to the contact page. You can also add a link to your policy pages. 
And of course, you have a few other link options. You can add a link to specific products or to specific collections that you'd like to feature. Many people will add a link to their bestsellers collection. And here you can reposition this on the menu. Then you're gonna open your website. I'm gonna click on this header and here you have the option to change the menu and apply that brand new menu. And this way you can have all your pages and your collections that you'll be featuring right here on display. And also here on mobile, this is how that menu section is going to appear. And then I'll be showing you how to customize the footer menu. So here, once you've clicked navigation, I'm gonna click add menu. And this is where I'm gonna add a brand new footer menu. Then you can add the links that you would like featured on your footer menu. Next, we're gonna save that new menu. All right, and then to apply that new footer menu, you're gonna open your website and here at the bottom, I'm gonna click on the footer, then click add block. I'm gonna import a menu, and this is where you can select to feature that new footer menu. I'm gonna click add block again, and here I'm gonna import an image. This is where you can choose to add your brand's logo to the footer menu. And here's how this footer bar looks. And last, I'll be showing you how to add an FAQs section to your store's homepage. So here I'm gonna click add section and I'm gonna insert a collapsible content. And this is where you can begin customizing this section to display your frequently asked questions. And here under layout, you can apply a row container or a section container. Then you can select the color scheme you'd like to apply to that container color scheme. I'm gonna click on one of these rows and first off here under icon, this is where you can select what icon you would like to apply. I'm gonna select the question mark icon and I'm gonna repeat that for the rest of the rows. And next here under heading is where you can type in the frequently asked question and under row content is where you can type in your answer. And here's how that finished section is going to appear in your store. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format and here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. And I have many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.